coach Betty Rocker here. So awesome to see you and I'm super excited to dive into today's strength supersets. We are going to work our body head to toe and I recommend today that you have a couple of dumbbells or even water bottles. You could use gallon jugs, even laundry jugs. Whatever you have, we want to add some extra resistance to today's workout. So all you need is a little bit of space. You could do this in your house, a gym, wherever you happen to be with very, very minimal equipment today. So let's go ahead and get right into this. I'll talk you through the whole thing as we go. We're going to start out by picking up our weighted objects and holding them at our sides to start with. Go ahead and engage your core. Gently roll your shoulders back and down. Now bring your weighted objects up to your shoulders. From this position, we're going to step it back into a reverse lunge. Let's check in as we do our first few reverse lunges here that our chest stays up, that as we step back, our weight doesn't suddenly decide to pitch forward over our front foot. Once you are lined up and you are stepping back nice and parallel to your other foot and to the, to the knee that you're stepping back with, I'd like for you on this next one to rotate towards the front knee. Nice, so we're just gonna add a little core, bonus core in the mix for this reverse lunge. So it's a reverse lunge. And rotation so you're gonna get a lot of legs and booty and also abs with this one good work make be mindful of your hand position and don't let your shoulders collapse in we're just gonna do a couple more here beautiful work first set getting into it last one on this side last one on the other side great job okay so you've got your weighted objects and we're gonna come down bend our knees Set the weighted objects down. If you have dumbbells like me, you can actually hold on to them as you step or jump back to a squat thrust, tall plank. Step or jump it forward. Come on up, hammer curl, palms face each other, and then we press up overhead. When you come back down, if you're not holding dumbbells, just set your weighted objects to the side, plant your hands, step or jump your feet back. As you come back, load the weight in your heels, come up, palms facing each other, hammer curl, press overhead. Nice. As you do that overhead press, make sure your core stays nice and tight and engaged. This is a full body cardio and strength complex move. Beautiful work. Back, forward, load the weight in your heels, come up, curl and press. As you come down with those weighted objects, I want you to come down the same way you came up. So you're going to bring them down close into your sides, down to your waist, lower all the way down, Plant your hands, jump or step back, and come up. Great variation for this one would, of course, be to jump or step back against the side of your couch so that you had a little bit more uh, or less pressure on your shoulders. Last one. Here we go. Forward, curl, and press. Nice work. Okay, you know what's next is we're going to go right back to the first move and do it again. So take a quick breather as needed. Grab those weighted objects again, throw them up on your shoulders, engage your core, step it back, rotate to the side that the knee is in front of. Great job. You know what, what's happening now, what's coming up. So good. Stay focused. Keep your chest up, step it back, and rotate. Step it back, and rotate. Back, rotate, back, Rotate, great job. Keep that chest up, keep that core engaged. Be mindful of your foot placement. You don't wanna bang your knee down behind you. Whew, takes a lot of smooth, controlled practice. You can drop those weights anytime. If this is a little bit too hard to coordinate or balance, you'll still be getting a lot out of it, doing it body weight only. Last one, and that's right. Squat, thrust, hammer curl, press. Squat yourself back, hips come back. Jump or step your feet out behind you, come up, curl and press. And again, it's a hammer curl, so our, our palms face each other as we come up in that curl. And we bring our elbows in back close to our sides as we come down. Tall plank position, no arched sagging backs. As you come up, really get the most out of that squat by setting yourself up with your feet underneath you and your weight loaded back and your heels chest up before you come up to that squat. Great work. Last two. And last one. 
Awesome job. Okay, take a quick breather. And once again, we're gonna go through that superset. Those two moves again, back to back. So throw your weights up on your shoulder or water bottles, whatever you're using. Step it back with the left leg, rotate to the right. Step it back with the right leg, rotate to the left. You're just rotating over the front knee so that you can be nice and stable and controlled. Beautiful work. Check in with yourself. Are your shoulders starting to burn from holding almost an isometric hold here with your weighted objects? Is your core turned on? Is your butt working? I bet it is. Keep up the great work. Be mindful of your balance. You're almost done. Last two and two. Last one and one. Awesome work. Squat thrusts. Here we go. Shoulders back and squat it down. Back, knees forward, load the weight, curl press. Down the way you came up. Lots of control. This is going to be cardiovascular. You don't have to rush through it at all. You are getting plenty of cardio and strength combined in this little superset that I put together for you, for us. Thanks for doing it with me. So good. Great job. Come on, two more. And last one. Here it is. Let's make it strong. Curl and press. Oh, so good. All right. That was basically an amazing full body superset. We're going to do a little bit more of an upper body focused superset for this next superset. So go ahead and walk it out to plank. You don't need your weighted objects for this one. We're going to do push-ups. So you can do push-ups up on your toes and plank. You can do them down on one knee. You can do them down on both knees. You can also do them elevated in any of those variations as well. Pick your poison. We're going to do 10 total three times. So here we go. We're going to start with one set of 10, 10, nine. Strong plank position, regardless of how you are doing the variation. You want to be in the best place that challenges you where you can get through 10 so that you can keep building strength. Come on, four, three, two, last one. Great job. Come on back up to your feet. Grab those weighted objects. We're going to work our back. Ah, oh, yes. And triceps now. So hinge it forward at your waist to about 45 degrees. Core stays engaged. We're not like arching our back. We have a nice strong core. Gaze is neutral. We're not cranking our neck up or down. Let's go ahead and start out by sweeping our arms out to the side. And then we're going to bring them straight back behind us. Out to the side. Straight back behind us. Hitting some rear delts with this one too. Love this move combo. Come on. So good. <sighs> nice and smooth and controlled. You've got this. So good. Feel free to change the amount of weight that you're holding as well. Um, it really isn't about like how much weight you use. It's that you can get through each set, each rep with a quality form and then it's challenging for you. <sighs> you don't want to get, okay, you can stop. You don't want to get to the end of the, the reps and be like, I could have done like 20 more with that weight, right? You want to be able to feel like you were challenged, like you just about were out after eight to 12 reps, basically. Okay, we're gonna do another set of push-ups. Pick your poison. Come on. We got this. Down, up. Come on. We're going to do 10. 9, 8, chest to floor. 7, hold your core in strong. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, last one. Good job. Good job, I know. You're my coach, right? He's my sleeping coach. <laughs> Come on back up to your feet. We're gonna hit those flies to straight arm kickbacks again. Shoulders back and engage. We're not rounding forward because we'll compromise our rotator cuff if we start out in that position. And we go out, down, back, down. Out, down, back, down. Beautiful, nice and fluid and controlled. So strong, hold that core in strong. 
You got this. So good. Come on. One more. Oh, I'm so feeling those. Bend your knees to set down your weighted objects. We're going to roll through this superset one final time. All the way down to push-ups. Kneeling, couch, however you are getting through these so that you can build your strength. Yes, here we go. And 10, nine, eight. Gaze is about six inches in front of you. Don't pull your neck down or up. Six, five, four. Core's in strong, check in with it. Three, two, last one. Woo! So good. Oh, you rocked that. Oh my gosh. Whew. Okay, what is the uh, least effective workout that there is? It's the workout that you don't do, right? So really these quick workouts, for me, especially during the busy time of year, like during the holiday season especially, these workouts save me. Also other times of year I just get like super crazy busy. If I can stop, drop, and Betty Rock in 15 to 20 minutes, saves me. That is why I can stay consistent because that's how it works. It's the workout that I did that was effective, not the workout I didn't do. Shoulders back, engage that core, arms come out, arms come back, arms come out, arms come back. Beautiful, nice and smooth and controlled. It's so true, I mean, there's lots of times I enjoy doing long workouts or lots of different styles of working out, but so many times, if I have a longer workout schedule and I'm busy, I'll do like the first round of it or the first two rounds of it with whatever time I have so that I've gotten something, all or something. That's the secret. That's how we're gonna stay fit and get through all of our lives. Healthy, happy, strong, no stopping us. Last one, <sighs> only one person can really stop you and that's you. I know, because I've stopped myself plenty of times thinking I had to do everything or I was a failure. So I really, really appreciate being able to share that with you because I know that I'm not the only one who does that to myself, right? We all do that to ourselves sometimes. Okay, I'm just catching my breath. We have one final superset to do. Such a fun one. Okay, so we're gonna start out with a squat. Let's go ahead and come to the back of your mat this time. And I want you to squat down Put your weighted objects down next to you. And from this squat position, I want you to walk your hands out to a tall plank. Pause here for a moment, activate your core nice and strong, then bend your knees, walk your hands back, grab those weighted objects, and load the weight in your heels as you come up, give me a front raise. Come down, squatting down, hips go back, walk your hands out, tall plank, walk yourself back, weight in your heels, come up, front raise. Work. You got this. Now one of the things that can happen for a lot of us is we become a little bit quad dominant and it's hard to get our heels down in our squats. So this is a great opportunity to practice this really deliberately. Squatting down, having your heels down, really working on that pelvic tilt. That's what happens to a lot of us. So we want to work on our core strength. There have been some great workouts lately released here on the blog that really teach a lot of core strength. Check out some of Coach Nikki's yoga and Pilates for more of that. Specifically, I did a great ab workout very recently. Come on, walk it out and tuck that pelvis and then walk it back as you come up, front raise. Nice, that was your last one. Step to the center of your mat and we're gonna work on our deadlifts. Love the deadlifts. So first, shoulders back, nice tight core. I want you to send your hips back behind you without arching your back. So your belly button stays in and up as your butt goes back behind you. Your heels are glued to the floor and your hands come down grazing your shins. I'm at a flat back. From here I'm going to think about my butt squeezing to lift me up. Again, down, squeeze your butt. Send your hips back. Imagine that when you come down to that forward fold position, I could balance a tray of food on your back. Nice, so good, so strong. Squeeze your butt each time you come up. And you may have wanted to switch to a heavier weight set 
after our first round of this one for the deadlift. Uh, but I also invite you to add in a high pull row at the top. Reset, lower down, send the hips back, up, high pull row, lower down. Now this is just a great way to really challenge your full body, especially if you're working out with just simple dumbbells. You can get so much out of this. Last one, nice job. Okay, coming back to our squat walkouts to front raise. Feeling this, getting so close to the end. Squat your butt down, set your weighted objects aside, walk it out, tall plank, come on back, load the weight on your heels, up, front raise, down, stay focused, stay strong, core strong and tight, we walk it in, we walk it back, front raise, down, walk it out, core is tight, and we walk it back, up, I have a tendency with the front raise to kind of go up higher than my shoulder height. So I was really working on that today. And you can see sometimes I'll go up too high. So just be mindful of that for yourself as well. You don't need to throw your weights up way up by your nose or your eyes. Just bring them up to about chest height. This is our last walkout. Great. And back. Come on up. And front raise. You rock that. Okay, if you need a quick breather or a quick reset, you can take that now. We're gonna go back into our deadlifts with a high pull row. High pull row is optional. If you're working on a heavier deadlift, maybe you're in the gym or you're at home and you just wanna use a heavier weight set, that's great. You do you. I'm gonna use an intermediate sort of lighter weight set and add in the high pull row. So heels are down, core is engaged, shoulders are back. I hinge my hips back, uh, my, my uh, weights come down to my shins, I come up, pull high, lower down, pull high, Lower down, pull high, and you'll really feel this stretching the back of your hamstrings and the back of your glutes, and then you really want to squeeze your butt as you power up out of it. Nice work. Come on, up, power, lower, and power. Last one, lower, power, so good. Okay, last set of our super set, this is it. This is the end, you are rocking this. Here we go, squat it down, walk it out. Tall flick, walk your knees back in, up, front raise, lower down. Nice and smooth and controlled. You don't have to rush, you wanna be very fluid here. Make this time your own. Really awesome job. Core is engaged, walk it back, up, and raise. Awesome work, so good, down, Plank, back, weight in your heels, pick up your weighted objects, power up, front raise. Last two, here we go. Last one, walk it out, hold that core, walk it back, and up. Amazing job! All right, last move of your set. Here we go, deadlift action time. So, center of your mat, shoulders back, core is engaged, and center hips back, keeping a flat back, up, drive those shoulders and elbows back together at the same time. Nice. And you wanna bring your hands back down to your upper thighs before you slide them down and send your hips back. That's great. Really be mindful of your form. Even though this is a very complex dynamic movement, it's easy to want to rush it and to lose your form, but you don't want to do that. We're not doing that today. We are doing this together so we can get everything out of this and really just get stronger safely. Yes, building that foundation. Beautiful. Last two. Hips back and one. Oh, amazing work. Oh my gosh. Go ahead and set down your weighted objects. You just totally, totally rocked that workout and you were done in under 20 minutes. That was awesome. And I highly recommend that you make sure that you follow up any resistance style workout, any one of my workouts by nourishing yourself well throughout the day. Make sure that you're getting enough protein, good fiber, healthy fats, all of the nutrients that you need. And especially for building muscle and staying lean, 
You want to make sure that you have good protein, good quality protein, highly absorbable protein. And as you know, I'm so excited, my very first protein powder is now available. And I am generally enjoying this. Um, I love having it after a workout. So I just got a shaker bottle and the berry green protein. Oh my gosh, so good. 18 grams of protein per serving. So let's open up this bottle. I've got about 8 to 12 ounces of water. And I put uh, 15 superfoods into this, which is pretty awesome because I, I, I really love getting all of these amazing greens, vegetables, and fruits in my body and in a very low glycemic way um, in this very convenient uh, one and all in one, basically, you get in your 18 grams of protein. This is 100% plant based and it is sweetened with organic stevia. Now, I used to hate stevia and protein powder, but then when I made my own protein, I found out that not all stevia is created equal. A lot of it is this lower quality, lower grade stevia called Stevia Rev B. I'm using Stevia Rev A, which is actually more expensive, um, but it's awesome. And it's 100% organic stevia as well. And we do not process our stevia with alcohol, unlike most manufacturers. So you're getting a much cleaner uh, sweetness to this in this delicious vanilla strawberry flavored drink. And as you can see, I can easily just mix it in just water and it blends beautifully and it tastes amazing. Mm. It's also delicious mixed into any of your smoothies if you're looking to just boost your superfood content in your smoothies. You want to add more of the wheatgrass, barley grass, spinach, uh, chlorella, spirulina, blueberry, raspberry, all some of those are some of the amazing superfoods that are in this. And I highly recommend that you are using some kind of um, protein or you're making sure that at least that you are getting in protein with every main meal that you have. And remember, supplements are a supplement to your whole food, healthy eating, um, which is exactly why I named this brand that I'm creating these products with Whole Betty because I want it to be about our whole body. I want to use whole foods, whole nutrients, wholesome things. I had a really hard time finding supplements on the market that I wanted to use and recommend so I decided to make my own and that is what you'll find in my very first product. I'm creating products for all four of your pillars of health and I'm so excited for you to get them. I'm um, just really excited for you to try the Berry Green Protein. I love to hear what you think. We've had rave reviews from Rock Your Life members and of course from our beta group so be sure to let me know how you like it and I can't wait for you to get your hands on some. As always, mm, I'm Betty Rocker. You are so awesome and amazing. I can't wait to see you again for our next workout. Have an amazing day. Bye for now.